I just watched a uh, episode of Dog Whisperer. This is probably the third or fourth time I've watched this show, and um, he seems extremely reckless. Um, I understand his approach, and it does make sense for canines, but you don't want the, the basic rule of thumb is when rehabilitating an animal is you don't want to cause more harm or you don't want to stall the rehabilitation process. In one case, he goes into a trailer with some people and he brings the, this dog in that just had been in some kind of scrap in the yard. So they're sitting in the trailer, the humans, and they're talking and they have the dog in there. Well, all of a sudden a fight breaks out because his dog Daddy is in there too. There's really no reason for Daddy to be in there, right? Because it's a conversation between humans. And when humans converse, or they're, they're, they're not paying attention to the animal, the animal knows this and will act out. So like if I'm talking to the camera, I got a problem down here because the chihuahua is being a dick, right? So a fight breaks out with this dog Daddy who shouldn't have been in there in the first place, or the dog that was just in a fight, you know, sometimes it's really nice if the animal spends time alone. So this animal is, is all jazzed up and probably needed time to process and probably should have been in a crate at that point. But he's in there and gets in this fight. So after the fight, Milan explains what happens and it's kind of shrugged off. So in the other show, he tethers two dogs together. Now, I understand what he's trying to do. He's trying to let this unconfident dog gain confidence by using a, uh, a slower energy to steer it around the, the, the compound or whatever so it won't retreat. Because if the dog retreats, right, it's still in a frightened state. So it just seems reckless. You never tie two animals together. That's a rule of thumb. You tie two, two, uh, two animals together instead of, you know, 50 pounds of flesh. Now you have 100 and twice the testosterone and two minds that are working, right? How do you control that situation? You can't. And the problem is this. Even if he ties them, ties them together, right, and, and, and it's an appropriate match, there's trainer error. So we had just seen trainer error happen with him out in the yard with the one dog and in the trailer with the one dog. Trainer error happens. It's expected. You know, I'm not saying he's not helping people and helping dogs. That is not what I'm saying. I'm saying he takes an extremely reckless approach, a more conservative approach to animals and training and rehabilitation is warranted. You don't play to the camera, Mr. Milan. That's absolutely fucking absurd.